I mean, I don't know uh, uh, actually anything uh, about Ian Cox, uh, to be truthful. I know Paul's been working on his kickboxing, but obviously his main thing, you know, he's a, he's a grappler, he likes to take it down to ground. Uh, I know he's, um, he's recently won with an arm bar. Uh, I know he gets trained by um, Jimmy Warhead, so he's going to have influence on Nathan Leverton, who, again, I've trained with, mm -hmm. and he's absolutely awesome. Uh, Submission grappler. Yeah, definitely. I mean, submissions, uh, submissions and ground pound are obviously my two biggest, uh, two biggest attributes, really. There's a big difference between submission grappling against submission grapplers and then submission grappling against somebody like me because I will punish you. If I'm in half off on the bottom, it's not going to be long until I'm in half off on the yeah, top. Yeah. So how he reacts when I start throwing elbows in his face, to be fair. Um, you know, obviously, if I can get my shots off and knock him out or cut him stop the fight, make him tap out with strikes, I'll do so, but if I'm striking and you know he, he throws his arms up, I'm going to take the arm, or if he turns his back, I'm going to take his neck, whichever. I'm fitter than I've ever been, um, and I'm, my reaction it, my reaction time is a lot quicker than, because that's probably the reason that every time I fight it's different. Um, obviously, I hope it's going to be a good fight, I hope Paul brings his A-game, when I mean, he talks about his cardio and things like that, I think he's uh, underestimating mine a little bit. Um, Obviously, when I train two, three times a day, six days a week, my cardio's there. I think I'm going to be stronger, faster, quicker, more explosive. The problem is that when somebody gets close to me, um, I'm actually going to grab him. You know, I can't help it. You know, if he gets too close to me, I'm, I'm going to try and take him down. I mean, I'd like to get it over and done with again quite quickly. Uh, I mean, Paul's a tough guy. I've seen a few of his fights. Um, but no, I, I can't see it going the distance. Because uh, he's certainly good enough to hold his own with me yeah. and I'm hoping I'm good enough to hold my own with him so it's going to be a, a test of who's got the biggest heart and the biggest pair of lungs. I'd like to you know kind of proactively say I'd like to punch him you know and kick him and uh, but he'd probably like to say the same and it sounds a bit bad I'd like to knock him out you know but um, if I get a submission I get a submission shout out to fights against child abuse mm -hmm. um, who are, um, Kind of sponsors, are. and it's the sponsors that I think well, a lot of fighters, uh, the sponsors that they should be after, rather than the kaching kind of yeah. sponsors, you know. Uh, and I also want a big shout out to Dragons Academy and uh, all the other clubs in Derby that kind of uh, help me to get to the place where I'm open to get to. Um, obviously, he talks about his support, you know, my business partner Clifton Mitchell from Derby. I think Paul doesn't realise how many people from Derby I'm going to have there shouting for me, to be fair. Obviously, thanks to uh, Fight UK, yourself and Alistair, Jimmy Warled, um, obviously he's fighting Evan Bellator this week, best of luck, mate. Um, all the lads down at Rough House, uh, Victor Steamer for my uh, BJJ, and that's your lot, mate. I want to look back at this fight and go, you know what, I don't want to fucking do that again. You know, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, no, it's be, uh, I think it'll be a good day, good event. Paul, hope you've been great game, mate. Excellent. Well, what's next for Ian Cox? Next is November 6th, Paul Ramos. Yeah, professional fighter.